I've been working on this Archtop guitar soundboard. I've got it graduated to just where I want it to be. I'll do some final adjustments to thicknesses after I get the body assembled, but for right now it's, it's uh, ready for the next step. It's got a nice tap. And so my next step is to cut the F holes. I've got them marked exactly where I want them to be relative to the center line and the bridge line. So I'm going to drill a couple pilot holes in each one to get a saw blade into and then use a scroll saw to roughly cut them to the right size and then I'll finish that off by uh, a lot of filing and sanding. Holes may look a little wide, and they are to begin with, but they're going to be having, uh, they're going to have three layers of binding on them. So once the thickness of the binding is taken into account, these will be pretty much the, the size of the F holes that I want for this particular guitar. So I've got my top on this work board, but before I start working on it, just a little aside, this board, this uh, arch top assembly board, came from the Gibson factory. Um, years ago, when they moved out of Kalamazoo, um, somehow elderly instruments in Lansing wound up with a lot of their tools and molds and templates. And then a few years after that all happened, Elderly had an auction. And I went to the auction and wound up with uh, a bunch of templates for different electric guitar bodies and uh, a couple of assembly molds for Dreadnought guitars and this really great work board for arch tops. So a little bit of history there. Um, so now what I'm going to do to smooth out these F holes, I know I said earlier I was going to file them, but files are actually pretty aggressive and they tend to tear out little chips in the wood. So what I really use is a stick with some 120 grit sandpaper glued to it. And uh, so I'm I'm going to concentrate on keeping the sanding stick vertical while I do this. I don't want to round off the edges of the holes because it would be really hard to maintain symmetry from one side to the other and really hard to glue on the binding. So I'm going to just keep the stick vertical and sand away until I get right down to the pen marks everywhere. And 
And as you can see, this is going to take quite some time. So there they are, looking pretty good. Here's the outside and the inside. Um, next step is to put the binding on.